Whenever I speak with a beginner developer that wants to get into coding professionally, one of the biggest problems that I need to solve first before I can help them is to make them become more patient. This is super important. I see a lot of people that are too eager to progress faster. They are never eager to make sure that they have a solid foundation and a solid baseline for their current level. In this video, I want to tell you why patience is important, why patience is a virtue for beginner developers and how to get yourself to the point where you are more content and not so desperate to get a first developer job because desperation never leads to anything good. Okay, so let's get into it. When you drive from point A to point B, let's say you are going from home to work, there's never only green lights. You're never just going flat out. There are traffic jams depending on the time that you have to go to work. There are maybe accidents on the road. There are red lights, you have to stop. It doesn't mean you are not getting to your end destination. It means that you are encountering, you know, normal, regular day-to-day -day traffic. And with coding, we have the same kind of problem, the same setup, if you may. There's never a straight line. There's never like, do this, get that, do this, get that, do this, get that. Of course, there are some overall concepts and principles that we can apply to actually learn faster and whatnot. But the reality is that making progress with coding or losing weight, which is the thing that I'm doing right now, I'm a beginner just like you in losing weight as you are a beginner in coding, there's never a straight road. It's never easy. And the reason why we expect it to be easy is because if you have a normal job, right? Or if you have any job really, because every month you'll be getting the same salary. So you do something, you get something back. You do something, you get something back. But when it comes to achieving some big goals, like getting in shape or getting a coding job that's gonna pay you a lot of money, learning that new skill set is gonna come with bumps. It's not gonna be like whoop, you do something, you get something back. It's more like boom, 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 boom. You're gonna stagnate here for a while like that and then at some point you'll start to shoot up so you need to develop this patience why is patience important because in order for you to learn coding the right way you need to understand some fundamentals and fundamentals are things like you know knowing how to create a website properly if you are in the html and css part of your learning journey, you can check out my free program where I can show you exactly how to become a master at HTML and CSS. When you're in that part of your learning journey, make sure that you can literally build any website you see. Then when you get to the JavaScript part, try to understand the basic programming concepts, the functions, the loops, the if else statements, variables, like try to understand why those things are there in the first place. Try to understand the syntax, then try to understand how to manipulate the DOM, etc., etc. Don't feel like if you squeeze more from a project that you will be building that you are losing time. No, in fact, you are solidifying your knowledge base and you are just gonna get better because of that. Because you put that extra time into understanding your basic stuff, later in the future, when you wanna use the cool stuff, you just have a blast. All that knowledge and all that time spent with the fundamentals, with the basics, is gonna then compound later and it's gonna help you progress faster. And that's what most beginners don't understand. And it's not just beginners in coding, it's beginners in fitness, beginners in video editing, beginners in copywriting, beginners in any niche. Beginners are always eager. Right now I have a racing simulator with a wheel, you know, from Fanatec. And I'm trying to drive this McLaren on Spa in Belgium. I don't know if you know that track, but it's so different, okay, compared with playing Forza Horizon on my Xbox, driving wheel, Okay, with pedals and whatnot, it's extremely difficult. I'm crashing on every single lap. And I had to lower my ego and understand like, wait a minute, I need to learn how to brake. I need to learn how to accelerate. I need to learn how to steer, which is so different compared with using a controller. I had to learn all these things. I had to look up what are the best gears to be in when you take a certain corner in the specific track. So I need to do my due diligence and put a bunch of laps in and try to study this car, the mechanics of the game, the mechanics of the actual track and whatnot. Beginner in me wants to be like flat out, you know, I want to get into races, but I'm probably like a month away from actually being able to participate in any race. Patience is a virtue. That's gonna make a huge difference. Trust me, if you spend three months being more patient, you'll just feel better about yourself. And if you feel better about yourself, 
then you're gonna put more work in. If you put more work in, you're gonna get more out of it. Also, I wanna say here, don't confuse laziness for patience, okay? So if you spend 20 hours per week watching tutorials and one hour per week coding like I used to, you're not patient, okay? You are lazy, you are procrastinating and you don't even know it. It's like the silent killer of developer careers. You'll end up in something tutorial hell if you're not already there. In order for you to be like successfully patient, you have to do the work, okay? And what is the work is building projects, building applications, solving algorithms. This stuff will get you further, not just sitting on your couch, watching Udemy on your big screen. Time is gonna pass anyway. You are not patient, you are just lazy and you need to understand that. What helped me stop being lazy and put my ass on fire was the fact that once I had an interview, I took a day off from work. I ride my bike all the way in the city center of London. I go and I get interviewed. And then at the end of the interview, the recruiter tells me, you are really cool, but you have nothing to show us. And that was the moment when I said, you know what? I'm not gonna let this happen ever again. I started building projects. It was difficult, it wasn't easy, it wasn't a walk in the park. That fear that pissed me off, you know, so much, helped me overcome my limiting beliefs telling that were telling me, oh, you're not ready. You should learn more, you should do this, you should do that. That helped me overcome these problems. And I started making projects. And then three months later, three or six months later, I don't remember exactly, I landed my first position as a developer. I've done it in this way. These are some basic principles that you need to apply, in my opinion, if you want to be successful. And if you don't want to apply them, that's also fine. Try out, see if you can find a better way of doing things. And if you do find, let me know in the comments because I'm more than happy to read your experiences. So that's it for today. If you're interested in my coaching program, that's the first thing in the description. If you wanna spy on my program and see what you're gonna get before you even join, you can check out the second link in the description. I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.